What is more ridiculous than Gordon Ramsay yelling at chefs? Well, a Hell's Kitchen video game. Back in 2008, the hit reality TV show had a game that made its way onto consoles, mobile, PC, and of course, handhelds. Hell's Kitchen the game was developed by Ludia Incorporated and published by Ubisoft. It was released in 2008 on the PC, Nintendo DS, iPhone, Macintosh operating system, and the Nintendo Wii. I'm going to review the PC version of this game. Some of you that have been a fan of my past channel might remember I reviewed this game many years ago. Matter of fact, I think it was around 2010 when I reviewed it. Might have been later, but it was a long time ago. And you remember I got into a argument with Gordon Ramsay. Well, he's still a bitch because Gordon Ramsay just, he's always angry. Does that guy not get laid? He's always pissed off, throwing a fit, cussing people out. You would think Somebody like him with a lot of money, I think he's married, so you'd think his wife would be sitting there, you know, buffing the old, uh, Finally, I don't know, I hot dog. Like <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. This guy's always angry at people. Are a lot of chefs like this? Because if so, man, they must be miserable people. Just fucking miserable. Hell's Kitchen is a strategy time management game based on the TV show where Gordon Ramsay hosts a competition for aspiring chefs. You will play through a variety of time management tests in the kitchen and dining room ranging from taking orders, cooking, serving meals, and doing everything right and as fast as possible before Gordon Ramsay tells you that you are a worthless piece of shit. You know how he can get. He will yell and scream at you like you banged his wife and didn't wear a condom. Which remember folks, always practice safe sex. Or not, but please always practice safe sex. This is a public service announcement from the Heavy Metal Gamer. I like how he yells at you, talking shit, yet what do you see him doing most of the time? Walking around, scowling like a bitch? Why don't you do something useful as well, Mr. Ramsey? Kind of reminds me of the supervisor you have at work that you would think he would at least help out, chop the onions, chop the garlic, but no, they just run around with their finger up their asshole and they act like a bunch of dickwads. In Hell's Kitchen, you will work your way up the scale from dishwasher to senior chef. Of course, you're actually not a dishwasher, but if you mess up, you might as well end up being that way because you're not worthy to go Gordon Ramsay. You must serve customers by greeting them, making their food, bringing them their food, and of course saying goodbye. Later on they will order more food, which might be dessert or so on, but why the hell would they want chicken and shit or turkey and vegetables for dessert? Why don't they have like a dessert type of thing where you can put that together? But no, I guess they expect to make dessert out of turkey, vegetables, and bread? In the kitchen section, you must put different ingredients into the right pots and pans. Each will be timed, some cook longer than others, and you must get the ingredients ready as well. You are rated on a five star scale, and if you continue to do well, at the end of each round, you will get five stars. If you are awful, you will get a zero and fail, and then you'll get yelled at. Hey, do you know Gordon Ramsay's wife? Get it? Gordon Ramsay's wife? Gordon Ramsay's wife, but he rams his wife? Obviously not, because he's always pissed off all the time. As you can see, the game does sound quite simple. Well, the farther you get into the game, the difficulty will become tough. There will be more ingredients, more customers, going from two dishes to three dishes, and so on. Not only that, there is another mode where you have a red team versus blue team, and you must make meals in the same style as the restaurant mode, but as fast as possible. Is it the most difficult time management game I have ever played? No, but it can be tough at times. The graphics for Hill's Kitchen are not bad. They are nothing mind-blowing or anything like that. And even for 2008, they do look outdated. Of course, this game is eight years old, so it's going to look a bit dated. Gordon Ramsay looks how he should, a mean old bastard. The customers look normal, nothing mind-blowing, a bit generic. The food looks pretty generic as well. Obviously, going into this game, it wasn't going to have mind-blowing graphics or anything like that. With that being said, I can't really complain about them. To me, this is what I call shovelware. Now, of course, some say that is a mean term for these games, but that is what it is. It looks like a low budget game. Most gamers probably skip over it and so on. Games like Wheel of Fortune, Deal or No Deal, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire are all shovelware games. The gameplay is obviously not mind blowing, but you're going to use some strategy, but not strategy that you would use in Rise of Nations, Age of Empires, and so on. That would be used for more well-designed strategy games and, and strategy games that actually mean something. 
Now, one thing you might find interesting about Hell's Kitchen, you can actually find recipes on this game. That's right, you can make the same food Gordon Ramsay would make. There are 35 recipes to choose from, and even chocolate chip cookies as well are on the list. Wouldn't you think with a game involving a huge chef like Gordon Ramsay and having chocolate chip cookies on here, wouldn't you think he would do something more ridiculous with them? Like coat them in horse shit or his greasy hair grease? I mean, come on, he's one of them fancy ass chefs. So chocolate chip cookies, which anybody that knows how to cook or that doesn't know how to cook can still make are in this game. How about chocolate chip cookies dipped in brownie batter, dipped in Oreo crumbs, dipped in red velvet cake frosting, dipped in cream cheese, dipped in sour cream chili, like nacho cheese, like tortilla chips that are crunched up, guacamole, and then deep fried. Come on now, what the hell? The music and sound effects are nothing special. I don't find the music to be amazing, but I don't find it to be awful. It's just there. And it is composed well, but it's nothing I'm going to remember. The sound effects are all right from the sound of the food cooking and so on. The voiceover work from Gordon Ramsay is mediocre. It's like he didn't even want to do the voiceover work and he had better things to do. And of course, his insults are lackluster, but this being a game for all ages, I can kind of understand. I mean, he's not going to go into detail like he did on the Hell's Kitchen show saying somebody's mom should go get banged up the you know what, downtown Seattle or wherever his place is. It's not Seattle, I think it's down in California. Who cares at this point? Obviously, Gordon Ramsay is not fit for a voice actor. He should stick to yelling at people cooking on TV and of course being a chef himself. Even though he, I've hardly seen them cook anything on TV. Think a few times. I'm glad I quit watching Hell's Kitchen. It was getting too ridiculous. Stupid bullshit drama. Oh, this person said my food sucks. Oh, this person said my food sucks. Oh, this person said my food sucks. That person's food sucks. It's kind of funny. I've been sitting here insulting Gordon Ramsay, but really, I don't hate the guy. I just feel like insulting him. Like he insults people on the show. Sometimes for no reason. Which brings me to another thing. Gordon Ramsay reminds me of one of those pissy-eyed dickwads that gets angry over an opinion online. For instance, if you're talking about a video game, let's use Destiny as an example, and you say the game sucks, or it's awful, and you do it in a civil way, or somewhat civil, I mean, saying a game sucks is a little harsh. As long as you're not throwing insults like a little bitch, you're good. All of a sudden, the person that likes that game starts attacking you with insult. It's like you trigger them to lose their shit over your opinion. Even though you are perfectly fine with them liking the game. Well, it seems like Gordon Ramsay gets triggered easily. That should be the term of the last five years, triggered. Because many people seem to be easily triggered with anger, hate, insults, and so on. Kind of like Gordon Ramsay. So don't be like Gordon Ramsay. Oh shit, I just referenced one of them stupid stick figure pictures, which is now the new trend on Facebook. It was funny for a bit, but it's not funny anymore. Thankfully, you can block that bullshit app. Of course, you have people Welcome that will print screen, oh, I'm gonna show my Facebook friends this and my Twitter friends. Oh look, there's my stick figure guy. This is so-and-so. This is what so-and-so does. Be like so-and-so. Enough! Enough of that bullshit! Stop it! It's not funny anymore! Why the hell am I yelling? Oh no, the anger of Gordon Ramsay is running off on me. I hope I don't go to the post office later and see some old lady when she says, hi, how are you? I turn around and say, eat a dick, you old bat! Or if I'm at the store and the clerk who is very friendly says, have a nice day. And I turn around and said, you should die in a fire, bitch! The controls are very simple and easy to use. Pretty much you use the mouse and click on everything. And of course, drag stuff. They are responsive, they work good. Really, I can't complain about them. They, hell, they have to be easy for people that don't normally play video games that may like the show and give this game a try. Hell's Kitchen is nothing special, but not awful. It's something for a cheap thrill, and that's it. Like I said earlier in this review, it's shovelware. And that's not a bad thing. Obviously, there are people that have an interest in these types of games, and they do sell to a point. Not a shitload like, let's say, Grand Theft Auto or anything like that, but they do sell. The gameplay is all right. The graphics are okay. The music and sound effects and voiceovers are okay at best. The controls are good. I can't say the game is shit. Like most people that play it for five minutes and get bored, with it will say but it's not Come something on, that i recommend for all gamers if you're into the show and you're into games like this or if you just want to play a game 
to hear Gordon Ramsay and his lackluster insults and lackluster voiceover work, then be my guest. If you are interested in the game and you want to buy a copy, it can be found on eBay. The prices are $9.99, $19.99, $21.99, $12.95, and of course there are copies of the Wii version at $3.99, the Nintendo DS version is $4.99, $6.97, and there's even a factory sealed, at least it looks factory sealed, you might have to check that, at $28.07. If anything, buy it for two, three bucks. I can't really say it's worth more than that. Anything over that is a bit expensive, even the $9.00. 99 cents one but if you want it go right ahead it's there for you there is no sequel to hell's kitchen at least not that i know of which i'm kind of surprised there hasn't been a new game at least on pc ios home and mobile consoles there is a facebook game that was released but i myself never played it maybe at a later time i will do a review on that game of course that'll be a long time from now well that is it for this review of hell's kitchen now get back in the damn kitchen and make me a damn sandwich thanks for watching This has been a fucking son of a bitch! This has been... <laughs> this... I can't say it. I, I can't say it. This has been a public service <laughs> announcement. <laughs> this has been a public service announcement from the Heavy Metal Gamer. <laughs> Always wear a condom, folks. Because if you don't... <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's a bitch. If you remember way back, I got into an argument with Gordon Ramsay. Then I found out he was banging on hookers and doing cocaine, and I turned his ass in. That's why his show isn't on TV anymore. Or is it? I haven't watched it in a long time. It actually was a pretty decent show for shitty reality TV. In Hell's Kitchen, you need to work your way up the scale from dishwasher to senior chef. Of course, you're not actually washing dishes, but that should be a mini game in here because you have to wash the dishes. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious, you fucking idiot. <laughs> because you're not worthy, you're, because you're not worthy to, because you're not worthy to, because you're not worthy to Gordon Ramsay. Because you're not worthy to Gordon Ramsay. You must... Because you're not worthy to Gordon Ramsay. How many frickin' times am I gonna have to say this right? You must serve customers by greeting them. You must serve customers by greeting them. Fuck! Greeting them. Taking their orders, making their foods. Making their foods. <laughs> Fuck. Why don't they actually have, like, a dessert type of thing. I'm moving my hands, but you can't see it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I need a drink of water. No alcohol at 1037 in the morning. I ought to wait till 337. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Glug, 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 glug. That's the noise that Gordon Ramsay's wife makes.